Hi there. Welcome back to this channel. Uh, let us resolve another math of that question. The question says that x is equal to 7 minus 4 root 3. Now you have to find root x plus 1 over root x. Now this is also a simple math of that question, but um, you have to be careful the way you address the question. You don't just go in directly because if you were to um, plug this value into this directly, now it is possible that you can still evaluate it. It is possible. But I found a better way, an easier way of approaching it. So, um, and watch me do it. So this x is this guy, right? So if x is this guy, and we are, we are, we are now have to find this guy, we cannot just plug. We cannot plug this value of x in directly. Um, if we do so, it's going to complicate the issue, even though it's still, it might still be resolvable, um, because I posted a video on how I resolve some thirds in two two thirds in a root. Is that okay? Um, that, um, you know, and, and I walked and it was something like this. Is that okay? So you can follow that method of, you know, transforming it into um, square of differences and, you know, working it out. But it's going to complicate matters here because it's not one expression anymore. So this is a fraction. So let's get into the easier way of doing this. Now, looking at this expression, um, I have root x plus 1 over root x here. Yeah? Now, I could decide to manipulate. So all of what I want to do is manipulations. So I want to square this guy, for example. Now, just be, uh, bear with me. I'm going to do, I'm going to reverse this. I'm going to reverse this because squaring this guy, since it's not an equation, actually changes the expression. But let me manipulate this. Now, if I want to square this guy, this is going to be root x plus 1 over root x. Open bracket, root x plus 1 over root x. All right, so these are two brackets from the squaring. So this multiplies this. You know root a from thirds. If you don't understand what I'm doing here, I'm going to link the video of the third in the description so that you watch and understand as well. So root a times root a will give you what? A, isn't it? So um, root x times root x will give what? x plus this times this. This takes care of this, right? I mean, root x times 1 over root x. So this takes care of this. So that gives me 1. Right, we have 1 plus this times this gives me 1 again. And this times this gives me 1 over what? x. All right. So what have we here? It means that we have x plus 1 over x plus 2 here. All right. So this is what we get from what squaring this, right? So x, I mean root x plus 1 over root x squared is equal to this. So what do we do to remove this square? Then we take square root of both sides, isn't it? Do you understand? So by taking square root of both sides, I've reversed this thing. So by taking square root of both sides, what we now have is that our root x, that root x plus... 1 over root x, which was what we were given before initially, is equal to the square root, the square root of 1 over x plus 2. All right, so we've gotten to this point. So we've manipulated successfully, and now we have our x separate, x separate and our constant. Now, we can now go back to substituting now. You know that the, the question says, it gives us an expression for x. It gives us an expression for x, but it never do, it, it never gave us an expression for um, it never gave us, gave us an expression for one over x. So what do we do? Let's manipulate again. So one over x will be equal to what? One over seven minus four root three. Now you can go into it and substitute directly, but the best way to do this is to rationalize this. If you remember from our um, video on thirds, we said. Uh, to rationalize it, rationalize any number where the root is a denominator, where there is a root in the denominator. So because there is a root in the denominator, I multiply by the conjugate of the denominator because I want to rationalize the denominator. So the conjugate of the denominator is basically the same number but with an opposite sign. So if it's minus here, I put plus here. If it was plus, I was here. I would have put minus there. Is that okay? So then I can, um, uh, you know, um, simplify this. So this becomes 1 times this gives me the same thing all over. This times this gives me 49 minus, I mean plus, this times this 
gives me 28 root 3. Then this times this gives me minus 28 root 3. So notice from what we talked about before, this place always leaves, right? All right. Then this times this is going to give me minus what? 16 root 9. And I mean, for those of you that already understand, it's just 16 times 3. I mean, this times this 3, 4 times 4, 16, all right. So here it becomes 7, so 1 over 8 is equal to 7 plus 4 root 3 all over 49 minus 16 times 3. Because square root of 9 is 3, so 16 times 3 is what? 48, all right? So then um, it becomes 7 plus 4 root 3 all over 1. Okay, which is, so therefore 1 over x is what? 7 plus 4 root 3. All right, so this is the expression. So if you look at it, in fact, this and this are actually what? Conjugate from what we have here. So those are conjugates. So it means that the expression is actually very simple. So now we can now go back to this. Having gotten our expression for this, and for this, so we can now go back to this. So since, so let's recall that, recall that root x plus 1 over root x is equal to x plus 1 over x plus 2, all right? And now x is that. x, recall also that x is 7 minus 4 root 3, according to the question. And we got 1 over x, we manipulated that to give us what? 7 plus 4 root 3. So you see it's becoming simpler, yeah? So this becomes square root of 7 minus 4 root 3, which is our x, then plus 1 over x, which is 7 plus 4 root 3. Is that okay? Then plus 2. All right. So this becomes the square root of minus 4 root 3 plus 4 root 3 takes care of each other. This plus this gives me what? 14 plus 2. That is 16. So this becomes the square root of 16. And square root of 16 is what? Plus or minus 4. All right. So that will be it for this video. Um, I... I said that those of you who will be taking out of that question should do well to subscribe to this channel and jump by it also because I'm going to be resolving a lot of jump questions also um, on this channel. And, uh, you know, just those of you, math and enthusiasts, just make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's take the channel to 1 million subscribers. And also, generally, in science and physics and all, I'm also going to be releasing a lot of videos um, soon. I'm already working on those videos. Um, God bless you as you subscribe.